want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you YouTube, Steve Trucker here. Right, uh, today is the 12th of January, and I would like to wish everybody a happy new year since I haven't done anything over Christmas, and also apology for the lack of content of, of late. I can't truthfully say it's not going to continue at the moment because it's, uh, it's a bit of a quiet time at the moment, but we've just gone through a very busy time so. We'll see, I'll try to return to normal service where I can. So I'll try for one video a week. Just uh, the reason why I haven't posted as of late has been really, really busy at home and with work. And I'm afraid something had to be uh, reduced. So I do apologise. So hopefully everything is all good. If you have so far started the year well, New Year of 2020. All good. There's no major news on the channel, except from I'll be off to America this March. Yep, March. And in May I'll be going to uh, Spain, Portugal and Gibraltar on the motorbike trip as well. So those are my two hot big holidays that's on the way now at the moment, which reminds me I need to do the Leap Pass for the uh, Spain trip. been an interesting start to 2020, you know, with uh, a couple of big vloggers resigning out of their jobs, or quitting in their words, and one case, quitting thrice. You know, and I'm not disagreeing with their decisions, you know who I'm talking about. You know, actually in their circumstances probably would have maybe done the same. May have gone about it slightly differently in some ways, but... There's no wrongs in the way they went and done it though at the same time. And you probably guess who I'm talking about. So I assume you all know these vloggers. And so I don't want to name and shame because there's no shame what they've done. It's understandable. I think most sense people would have probably done the same. Would help if people would run on the right side of the road. You are meant to run into traffic or walk into traffic, not run with traffic. For good reason, because you can't see what's coming at you. You know, you're meant to give way to the traffic. But it is what it is. And I had a breakdown on Friday as well. We, the bearing on the truck had gone, so uh, we had that to deal with. At the moment, I should have said this at the beginning, but we are roughly around Warminster area, just for reference where we are. We're heading down towards Wimborne. Just to give you a sort of gist of where we're going, what we're doing-ish, <laughs> without showing the customers. I mean, otherwise, everything's all good on my front, and, uh, you know, I'm very appreciative to all my new subs and all my original subs. You're all seriously much, very much appreciated, as I always do say, and you, you are. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not much, as I said, on the forecast of things to go. I hope you admit this video is more of a chat video, update video. Now, I was going to chat into the process of my thoughts on why Luke and Jenko have quit, but I don't want to go into it. It's not really for me to defend their positions, or uh, I know I could put my view on it, but you know, all I can say is I sympathise why they left. You know, it, it, it's part parcel being a driver sadly you know it's just part of finding a company you're happy with and even then you know some people like to hop around as well for a multitude of reasons so uh, 
uh, sort of in between a load of rain and clear sky at the moment, so we're going in and out of this rain. It's in bizarre weather all day so far. One minute you can be in clear blue sky, next minute you've got big grey clouds coming over you. It's just, just as I say, it's getting blown in. With this weather system we've got coming over us. As I said, we had the breakdown on Friday, which uh, was in my bearing on my pop main pop shaft had, uh, you know, knackered itself. Which is a bit bizarre for a new truck, but, uh, you know, it happened and got resolved. It meant I did lose about 24 hours of work, but, but luckily I was able to go home during that period. So, uh, it wasn't too much of a drama, you know, but it is what it is. So it's lucky we're not hyper busy at the moment. So I was feeling a little bit bad because I know if you break down, another driver has to take the slack up somewhere. Or it can cause issues. And yeah, uh, I mean, driving-wise this week, been dealing with a normal thing. We had quite a lot of Vincenters on this shift, though, of people doing quite dangerous overtakes past me in terms of going heads-on with oncoming traffic, causing myself and oncoming traffic to take action. Which, uh, I, I suppose it's the first week back for a lot of people, and, oh, but there's no excuse for it, really, you know. It's just dangerous, as I say. Now, I tried to film this earlier today, and actually, one of those situations happened during filming. Which uh, I'm not going to show for obvious reasons. I'm not a big namer or name and shamer in terms of showing. I'm not saying I'll never do it, but I try not to do it for obvious reasons. Just, it just seems this week that, that everybody's in a rush, everybody's in a you know, desperate mood and as soon as they see the truck, they see red, <laughs> as I say. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I've discussed it in my recent driving videos as well. You know, so I'll leave that there, put that, back, that cat back in the box, as they would say, for the moment. No doubt it will get back out again, as it tends to be one of my favourite subjects to talk about. But I know this is sort of touching upon it again, but I want to cover this a little bit just to emphasise, you know, it, it is something that affects us professional, well, affects every road user to a degree. But in some ways it affects us professional drivers a lot, because we're out on the road all day, we see everything, we see the near misses, not just with ourselves, but with other people. We see the consequences. You know, when it goes wrong, you know, it even delays us, it causes us issues, and just, you know, I can even sum up more the bit of bad driving I've seen recently, in, in terms of how it can cause issues, even though it's so minor, and it just shouldn't happen, and I think this is another factor, that, that I've noticed that four-wheelers in general just don't look ahead, they don't see further than 50 metres ahead of them, they don't look further at all. What proves that point is when you're going down a single track section, down the narrow road, you know, if a truck's going down, nothing else can get past. So I was down the halfway down one of these sections, there's no passing points, and this car came up, there's like a waiting point area. Instead of waiting at the waiting point area, it decided to progress, even though I was halfway down at this stage, roughly. Still got quite a bit to go down, but you can clearly see that I'm there. I'm going down it, so I'm already on it, you know. If you come down, you're getting yourself in a bit of a pickle. So he came down, met me halfway down. I was sort of thinking, I saw what happened, I was like, what are you doing? So I slowed up, so I knew I was going to have to come to a stop. 
was slow. I wasn't in fast either. I was going with caution because it's tight. I know what locals are like, and, and that situation has happened down there before. And this guy drove up with his missus, I assume, in the car, looked at me, kind of stared at me, but I was just like, what are you doing? You know. <laughs> He didn't argue with me at all, then he progressed to reverse, which took 15 minutes. Believe it or not, you may laugh at this, it took literally 15 minutes for him to reverse less than probably 50 metres or so, 50, 50 to 100 metres back. Not mean 100 metres, not too far really. And what he was doing, instead of using the middle of the road, and it's just a narrow section of road, nothing else going to get past you, use the middle of the road till you get up to the passing point, then put yourself in. But instead, he decided to reverse tight left, or his left, as tight as he could go, to the point he was run reversing into trees. He just go, why do I just sat there, just does not get involved, just, just look, if he's going to mess up, let him to mess up, you know, but it's one of those situations that you had to shake your head at and you're like, you know, you could have saved yourself so much grief and agony and time if you just waited at the stop line, you would have been gone through 12, 14 minutes ago. <laughs> By the time he eventually got to the stop line, and and at, by that stage, the amount of traffic they built up was immense, which you know <laughs> is affecting other people as well. You know, a queue behind me of people who were sat right behind me, so it's not that I could reverse either. He, when he went down, there was nothing behind him, so it wasn't like you know he was under pressure to crack down the road, but nope. <laughs> But it, it's, it's time like it's one of those situations that just proves that car drivers don't look ahead. And there's many other situations I could quote what happened, what I've witnessed, and I've witnessed happen to others, of where people just haven't looked ahead. Just, hurt, you know, what, how, it doesn't hurt to scan ahead. It can save you so much grief. And I mean, down the same section of the road, I had a very similar thing happen to me the other day as well, yet again. Actually, I think it was yesterday. There's some tight bends along there, blind bends, so you go and actually cautiously into them, you know, go with speed or anything, or, you know, you don't go by the speed limit, by them by no means, you half it at the very least around these bends, if not slower. So I was going around the bend, caution, because I know what locals are like around there, and guess what walks up? A van driver. Hate to stereotype, but a van driver. Who immediately got on his horn. Even though I was committed into the bend. It was a blind bend. For his defence, he couldn't see what's coming around. Neither could I. You know. I'm like, you know, I'm as tight over to the left as I can safely be so with, you know, my articulation and bear in mind the trailer is naturally going to go slightly on, on on the other side and nothing I can really do about that sorry you know I'm going slowly so there's no danger he could actually get past anyway just reduce the speed a wee bit I wasn't saying he's speeding over but he, he was going quite a bit too quick into the spend I wouldn't say he's breaking an ash speed limit no he wasn't but he could have been going in with a bit more caution would have saved himself so much grief. And the fact that he gave grief to somebody who was doing the right thing, or I assume it was, with him on the horn, in a manner how he did it. Yeah, questionable. <laughs> I mean, all I can see from his point of view, he came flying around the bend and suddenly saw the truck. And his natural instinct was to hit on the horn, blame the truck driver to be there. Yeah. It is what it is, sadly, and it's all part and parcel what we have to deal with out in the roads these days. It is, it can be frustrating, but as I've always said, as truck drivers and as professional drivers, and you can be a, anybody can be a professional driver. The only criteria of being a professional driver is you always aim to drive properly. You don't aim to take the mick. 
you know, you drive sensibly and with caution. You know, and you conduct yourself in the professional manner on the roads. And yes, everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. Everybody, you know, if, if you're being honest, everybody does make mistakes. And that's why I don't try to be too critical. With that car driver who came down, you, you know, said that he may have been a mistake. He's probably daydreaming for you know, or distracted in discussion with his missus or something. But really, in that situation, it could miss me. I mean, had my lights on, everything. You know, big truck. You know, if you miss this thing. You need to check your sight, I think. <laughs> Especially down that road. I've been down that road on my motorbike, and I know for certain there's no way, even down at a car level, you could have missed me. But it is what it is. And yet again, I'll end that there, because as you know, I can go on forever talking about road behaviours and, you know, frustrations from a truck driver's perspective. And, you know, my biggest advice is always take a step back. You know, try to be the bigger person. Even if, as, a, as I've always said, if you know you're in the white, be the bigger person. You know, don't get involved in it, any road rage where possible. Yes, do what's right, within reason. But use a bit of sense as well. Or common sense, shall I say. <laughs> but take that with a pinch of salt. Stuck in a bit of a sunny bit for a little bit, and uh, I'll be in this for a little bit to be honest. And I hope everybody's had a good Christmas and all that as well. You know, I should have said that in the beginning, but. Uh, say that now. So I'll probably film for a little bit longer, probably not too much more longer, I don't have a massive video this week. So I've got a few videos of, as I've said in the recent videos as well, lined up that I want to do. As I said some of them, a couple of them need a bit of time to do in the right circumstances and they are going to be externally filmed so I need some good weather. Ideally to do them. So uh, we'll see. That might be some, some of those videos may have to get delayed towards summer, I'd assume. But we'll see. If I get an opportunity and have time to do it, I oh will. I'm not going to say what they are, you may guess, but uh, I'll leave it as a bit of a surprise for the future. One of them, I'll give a bit of it, has been requested. So it is in the pipeworks to be done. But aside from that, we're all good. Um, I don't think there's any news really to discuss in terms of channel stuff really. I've mentioned about the vloggers, and you know who I mean. All part of the road legends. Or two of them. Which is news, I'm not going to name them. As I said, uh, I suppose I could name them, but you know, I might put the links in the channel down below. But I'm sure you'll subscribe to them. Actually, I'll say the names. Go on. It's Luke and and uh, Junk. I think I might have said it earlier. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thinking about it, being mental in my old age. <laughs> but yeah. So. Yet again, I would like to uh, say a massive thank you to all my recent subscribers and yet again apologise for just the lack of content, you know, it is what it is, it's part of life. And I, I have obviously not gone away. Past him. And uh, 
if you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. It would seriously be appreciated. Also, check out my Facebook and Instagram. If I pronounced that correctly. And also hit that like button as well and bell icon to remind you when I do post. I do try to aim to release weekly, one vid a week. But uh, aside from that, I think we've covered all the bases. And I want to wish you yet again a happy new year and hope you all have a successful new year. And I will catch you in the next one. Over and out.